basketball when I was probably 12 years old and I got into it just through my siblings. I was like six foot two when I was 12. I tell people this all the time. Honestly, before basketball, like I tried every single sport imaginable. My parents were getting tired of putting me in different sports. I tried ballet, I tried gymnastics, but basketball is like the one thing that really stuck for me and the one thing I just continue to love. Well, Toby was the middle kid. She was so good at taking care of herself. She was also off the charts uh, in growth, right? So every time we went to the doctor, she was in the 99.9th .9 percentile, right? For her age. But then grade six, she um, joined a basketball day camp called Elite Camps. One of the main coaches of the camp, he told me that, he, actually he said to Toby, Choose somewhere warm when you go to school, meaning she will have her pick. And this is when I was like 12 years old, so no one had really ever told me that before. So I was just hearing it from an, an outside perspective and such a respected coach like through that program was, was really cool. I went to Greenwood uh, College for a little bit, for a good two years. In grade nine, I decided that it was kind of a part of my journey to take that next step and start going to Crestwood. Coach Marlowe is just, I mean, I've never seen this to his face, but he's incredible. Like, he's the best coach I've ever had. Uh, he just, he always believes in me, and that's kind of why I've stayed so solid uh, throughout Crestwood. And of course, just having my teammates by my side, I've had really amazing supportive girls, and just the school in general, like the teaching and their understanding of me having so much on my schedule. That's kind of what made me stay at Crestwood, and that's what my Crestwood experience has been like. Just getting on the national team, it was first Team Ontario and then it was Team Canada. I got invited to one of those camps and now on the senior team. I mean, there's a lot of pride um, doing that, just wearing Canada on my chest and on my back. Uh, it was really incredible, especially we went overseas for the U17 and that was my first time ever doing the Worlds. It was really cool and just being able to represent Canada and know the people back at home were cheering for me and rooting for our team. It doesn't feel bad to be known as like a dunker, that's amazing and I love doing that warm up in game, whatever it is. There's a lot of other things that I feel like I, I have to offer that a lot of people don't know about. I'm not now the only girl that can dunk, there's so many other girls that are dunking the ball and I'm just, I'm so excited to just encourage that and make sure that young girls are seeing me dunk and then think that they can do the exact same thing. If she puts in the work, I, I thought she could be one of the best ever and I, I believe that. So it doesn't surprise me that she will be playing D1, hopefully, in a year from now. Well, I had a, a lot of schools reaching out to me, um, so it was definitely a, a very hard decision for me, and I had to go to these different places to kind of know what I wanted in a school. When I visited Duke, that's kind of what I knew. Also, the coach was a, a huge factor for me, Coach Kara. I, I love her energy. I just, I love the, like her style of play and, and how I know that she's gonna coach me. And, you know, just the way she was talking to me and my parents about kind of the plan for me in the future. That's kind of how I decided that I wanted to kind of do. I hope she wants to keep going and, and keep striving to be better. When you include academics, it takes an incredible amount of work to balance that stuff. I don't know if I can do it. She's got so much potential, it's just a matter of focus and, uh, and hard work. I hope to see a few national championships <laughs> with Duke, and I really think that there's something special on this team, so I think we will get something done. So that's definitely a huge goal of mine. I definitely want to go to the Olympics. I feel like that'd be super fun just to represent my country. The WNBA playing professional is a huge goal for me. Hopefully I can accomplish that. And uh, university, just being able to shine um, and with my, my school that I committed to. So.